Third, is there a time, do you think, where the Ummah will become stronger, especially looking at this day and age? And is there even hope anymore? Yes, Wallahi, there is hope. Brothers and sisters, I know when we sometimes talk about these topics, sometimes it gives the impression that that's it, khalas, the Ummah is finished, finished, over. And the Prophet said in a hadith, مَنْ قَالَ أَهْلَكَ النَّاسُ فَهُوَ أَهْلَكُهُمْ The Prophet وسلم, he said, anyone who says that the people are destroyed, all of them, he's the most destroyed person. If anyone who says the Ummah is wretched, he's the most, most wretched of individuals. The Ummah, Wallahi, there's a lot of khair in this Ummah. Wallahi, there are a lot of sisters. There are a lot of sisters. That social media doesn't show you. Huwa muhajjaba, munaqqaba, covered, fully covered. Also covered from evil in their hearts. Not just outside, inside they are different. Righteous women. Salihat, qanitat. There are women like that. Wallah. Ahlul khayr, mawjood. There are women better than a thousand men out there who are righteous, who are studying, who are learning. Ay naam. Social media doesn't show those people because they don't go to social media. They're not. They are not. They're present. Allahumma barik. And the khair is present in this ummah. There are hufad women who have memorized the Quran. There are Islamic scholar, female scholars, who have attained a deep understanding of the Deen. I've encountered many of those sisters who are really righteous and noble, and. They amaze you in their righteousness. They're present. So when we say, when we, when we speak about these stuff online, that's just a, a part of society that we're seeing. It's not everybody.